these uh, Red Bear picks from Cedar City, Utah. They've been making them since 2003, and I was a uh, I found out about these picks I think right when they were starting. Uh, this was when I was working in Chicago. I ordered a bunch for the store, really dug them, the Style B specifically. Um, and then I found out that they stopped uh, selling through dealers and they just were selling direct um, because they make over 30 styles of the pick in five different gauges. So for them, I think it's, it's a lot easier for them to just sell them than to take orders and make all these different ones. Now, uh, you got to go on their website and check out. They have a specific page dedicated to styles. Uh, it shows all the measurements, the, the um, actual pictures of the size and different styles of pick, which I think is, is cool in and of itself. I mean, just right there, to have a company that makes 30 different shapes of a pick is pretty amazing. But let's talk about the material that they use. First of all, I, I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. It is a polymerized animal protein. It's basically casein. It's also referred to as milkstone. If you remember way back in Acoustic Tuesday, probably 20 episodes ago or so, I, I reviewed the Henze picks, which was also a milk casein, uh, a stone, st uh, a milkstone type product. Uh, same thing with these Red Bear picks. And I love it because they are able to achieve this beautiful, very clear, very distinct tortoise shell pattern. And that was the whole notion behind the picks and that they wanted to create an organic material that gave the sound and feel of tortoise shell, of course, but not using real hawksbill uh, tortoise shell. So Red Bear picks are a result. Now they come in five different gauges. Uh, I think there's, there's double extra heavy, extra heavy, heavy, medium, and light. Real quick note on the medium and the light picks, and I would say even on the heavy picks, um, this material is very stiff and it's very brittle. And usually when, as guitar geeks, when we're first checking out a pick, you go ahead and flex the pick in between your, your fingers and your thumb. Don't flex these picks. They will break because the material is so brittle. And you're thinking, well, Tom, why, why on earth would they make a pick that's brittle that would break? It's not about the flexibility of the pick. It's about the stiffness of the pick and the organic sound that you're actually getting from the pick. Now, I ordered uh, three different ones. I ordered the Style C, which is a little bit fatter in the standard tortoise shell with, with the hole grips in the middle. And then I ordered the Classic H, which is your standard teardrop. This is done in their kind of a, a jade type turquoise pattern. Both of those are heavy. And then they have this other material called Tough Tone. And it is very different than the uh, casein picks, okay? The Tough Tone picks are way beefier, way stronger, and uh, super flat, and you can actually flex them. They're not, they're not gonna break. And I really dug this one as well. This was new to me. I ordered this in a Style B, uh, extra heavy, and I really dug it. In fact, I think I like this one the most out of all of them that I tried. Um, what I like about the tone of these picks is that it is organic. It's mellow. Uh, you get good articulation, but good note body as well. And the, you can order these picks with what they call a speed bevel, so it already feels broken in. But here's what I noticed, okay? A couple of things that I want you to be aware of with Red Bear picks. The Cason ones specifically, kind of the imitation tortoise shell. First of all, it is brittle. I already talked about that. Second, these are not the type of picks that you want to keep in your pocket. Because they are an organic material, they can kind of flex and bend, um, but they can also crack and they're very affected by moisture and other kind of scratches, right? So if you just throw them in your pocket with change and things like that, it could damage the picks. So you don't want to do that. Um, but a good note on the whole uh, flexibility, pliability of the picks, after they're heated, meaning you've been playing for a bit, they start to kind of form, not like a glove, but they start to have this memory of how you hold the pick, which I found awesome. And I'm saying probably two weeks, three weeks into playing. Um, and I noticed that from way long ago, I had a style B medium pick that, that formed. But um, these ones haven't formed yet because they're, they're fairly new. But that's one of the things I noticed. Uh, so on one hand, it can be a little bit of a detriment because the pick is susceptible to the environment. But on the other hand, it's pretty cool because it kind of forms to your hands. Now these picks aren't meant to last forever. It's an organic material, that's why. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention as well with this pick is that although it does have a speed bevel, I noticed that they take a little breaking in. They, they have this kind of almost gritty feel right out of the bag. Uh, but after you know a week into playing, it really starts to have this, again, this memory, and you start to wear the bevel down 
unique, uh, uniquely to your way of picking. So I think there's a little bit of a break-in period with these picks, but I think it's very well worth it. Um, the the picks sound great, they feel great, and I think, I mean, aesthetically, I know that's kind of low on the priority list, but I think they're gorgeous. Uh, so make sure to check out those Red Bear picks. You can get them directly off of their site. And of course, you can find that at acousticlife.tv forward slash AT57. Um, there'll be links to, you can go right to their site and check them out. But the way that they launch the picks is that they're not all available all the time. They do these picker's choice sales. Uh, so make sure to sign up for their email list and uh, uh, get notified of those picker's choice sales because specific styles and specific thicknesses will go on sale at certain times. So you want to be uh, in the in the loop on that. But these tough tone ones, my, my favorite ones, these are actually available all the time to the best of my knowledge. So make sure to check those out. Again, those are Red Bear Picks out of Cedar City, Utah.